World of Warcraft has a lot of secret and hidden places in the game, however some places are so hidden that you can't actually access them normally. In other words, these are out of bounds locations and discoveries that Blizzard either put into the map and forgot about it, or are only accessible by doing some illicit methods to get access to. So with that being said, here are 5 secret out of bounds locations in WoW. Starting off at number 5 is the South Seas Islands. So if any of you guys have went to the most southern part of Tenaris to complete the quest Quirgo's Gold, if you are observant, you may have seen something pretty interesting in the middle of the ocean. In fact, if you look off into the distance, you can see a bunch of triangles sticking up out of the ocean, even despite if you look at the world map, or at least the map of Tenaris, there doesn't appear to be any island or anything indicating that something would be there. In other words, this is actually a place that is way off past the fatigue line and isn't actually an official part of the World of Warcraft map. If you were curious enough to see what it is, you would have quickly realised that there's way too much fatigue and that you would die long before you could actually get there. However, with the combination of some water walking, a speed potion and the shaman's ankh, after a long walk I could actually get there without being sent back to the graveyard. There are other ways to get to this island if you're clever enough to figure it out, but for my character class this is the easiest way to get there. So once you get here it's pretty wild. This place actually has fully formed islands, complete with gnomish houses, detailed things on the floor, and even killable NPCs that you can grind on. I find it absolutely amazing that this out of bounds location in WoW actually has mobs that you can kill. There is also a goblin mining rig in between these two islands that you can check out but there's nothing really there. On the second island there are more pirates and beasts that you can kill, and this place seemingly has no aim except for being a pretty cool secret that was put into Classic WoW. I highly doubt that you'll ever see any other players if you come here, so being here is pretty trippy considering how many people are playing Classic WoW and how deserted this place is. Now I have heard that this place is actually used for the Scarab Lord questline, although I'm not too sure about it as I'm not that familiar with that questline. My guess is that this place was actually intended by Blizzard to be another objective of a quest hub that never got implemented into the game. I can definitely see that Blizzard were planning to have some sort of boat going to and from the southern part of Tenaris to these islands, but I would imagine that they never finished it considering how much other content they were working on at the time. And fans of WoW have called this place the South Seas Islands. So come here if you want to get away from all the other people in the game. Ok so number 4 on this list is the Dancing Troll Village. Have you ever looked at the mountains in World of Warcraft and wondered if there would be anything beyond those mountains? According to map viewers there's usually not much except for some glitchy terrain, however there is actually one exception to this where you can find a fully fledged zone that can never normally be accessed in Classic WoW. I am of course talking about the Dancing Troll Village, one of the most secret and cool locations that has ever been discovered in World of Warcraft. So to get to the Dancing Troll Village is really not that complicated. In fact, you you don't need to do any glitch, use any items or have any specific spell. If you go to Winterspring adjacent to the Timblemore Hold entrance, you can climb up some of the terrain and actually manage to get above the Timblemore Hold entrance. From then on you can actually walk across the mountains up north and it will take you quite a while, it will take you a few minutes to travel across the zone and do some tricky jumping and you're basically just travelling across the connecting mountains between Fellwood, Winterspring and Darkshore. However if you continue traversing through the mountains you will actually come across to a point where you can drop down. You may begin to see that there's actually a troll village that is just seemingly randomly put into these mountains. It's pretty hard to go down here and not die, so I highly recommend that you guys bring some kind of slow fall or something that would avoid you from being killed by falling damage. If you manage to drop down and not die, you will see how detailed this secret zone is. As far as I know this is the only working entrance to get into the Dancing Troll Village, but once you're here you will see a bunch of trolls walking around that are low level 50s. If you're on the Horde these guys will be friendly of course, however if you're on the Alliance these are actually killable mobs, meaning that theoretically you could actually come here to grind on mobs without the fear of ever being ganked by the Horde, since it would be extremely unlikely that anybody else would be here. Now this is a very strange place in WoW, because a lot of these mobs are actually named, implying that this place was actually intended to be a place for the Horde to come here, pick up quests, and speak to vendors. 
I can definitely imagine this place being a quest hub in Dogshore, but Blizzard decided against it and kind of just scrapped this content and left it randomly in the mountains of Dogshore. There is so much detail that is put into this place, and something kind of disturbing is that there's a head of a dead tauren that is hanging from one of these ropes. The only time that you would ever see a player come here is if they're a mage trying to do some AoE grinding on these trolls. Ok so number 3 on this list is the programmer's island. Have you ever wondered what lurks within the game files of World of Warcraft? Data miners have discovered a lot of very interesting stuff that is in the World of Warcraft game files, such as unobtainable items and some zones that you can never actually access by being a normal player. One example is an aptly named Programmer's Island that is so impossible to access by normal means, it is essentially in a whole different dimension from the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. In early classic builds of World of Warcraft, this was a zone that was way off out of bounds in the World of Warcraft map. In fact if you look at this map viewer of the early version of World of Warcraft, you can clearly see that there's quite a lot of zones that are way off and unaccessible to players. This map is the Programmer's Island, and there's a lot of interesting stuff that is here. As you can guess, the Programmer's Island is a place that Blizzard created to experiment on some stuff and some terrains in the game. The WoW community that got access to this place discovered that there's quite a lot of interesting things inside here, such as untextured zones and development projects and models that have never been seen in the game. This was back when Blizzard were a lot more willing to put in things into the game files, but since then and in modern times, they know how dedicated data miners are in the game, so you don't normally see anything like this today. In fact just recently they removed the GM Island from the World of Warcraft game files, so there's essentially no way to access it anymore. And the same applies to the Programmer's Island. This was only in the game files of the earlier version versions of World of Warcraft, so there's no way to access it today. But just looking at this footage is pretty fascinating to see a very early version of Blizzard experiment with designing the game. Ok so number 2 on this list is the WKM room. Now if any of you guys know what I'm talking about, you will know that this personifies an out of bounds discovery in World of Warcraft. Any Horde players that have been playing World of Warcraft recently would have seen a seemingly out of place giant rock pillar in the middle of Orgrimmar. However looking at this you may not realise that there's actually something inside of here. In this rock pillar there is actually a secret that is out of bounds and not normally accessed by World of Warcraft players. Now as far as I know there's no actual way to get into it today, however back in the day there were some players that figured out methods to clip into the rock pillar and discover what was actually inside, and inside was something extremely mysterious, what looks to be a memorial next to a plaque with WKM on it. Many WoW players speculated and asked Blizzard what this actually was. Considering that this was actually a place that was designed in the game, you can imagine that Blizzard actually wanted people to discover it. However there have been some reports of people getting banned for getting into this secret room, which is kind of odd on Blizzard's part to be honest, since if they didn't want anyone going into this rock pillar, why did they even put this here? But anyway, besides that, it has been speculated that WKM is actually a memorial for a World of Warcraft designer that unfortunately died before the game got released, called Michael Coiter. Now that is a speculation, but it wouldn't surprise me considering that Blizzard liked to put in references to Blizzard employees into the game itself. Whether or not this is a memorial to Michael Coiter, or is something completely different, this is definitely a fascinating discovery just lurking in a random pillar in Orgrimmar. Ok so number 1 on this list is Hyjal. So you may be thinking, how is Hyjal actually an out of bounds location? Isn't this a map in World of Warcraft? There's literally a raid and an entire zone in WoW that you can explore. However back in Classic WoW this was an out of bounds location, despite it being clearly listed on the map. For the entire lifespan of World of Warcraft Classic, Hyjal was put into the game and was just chilling in the northern part of Kalimdor. If you were in adjacent zones to Hyjal, you could actually see its name on the map, which of course spurred a lot of people to try to get into Hyjal and get past the mountains that made it impossible to access. 
And it turns out there is one specific way to get into Hygel that really isn't that complicated. You can't even call it a glitch or an exploit, since it literally just involves you jumping in a specific part of the southern part of Winterspring. By jumping on the pillar, then going up some of the rocks on the mountains, you can jump down and actually access a completely empty version of Hygel long before it ever came out. WoW players back in the day were completely fascinated by this, as this was a major lore location in Warcraft. You could even see the skeleton of Archimonde, one of the most insane sights up there as one of the most memorable moments of me playing World of Warcraft back in the day. It felt like such an epic discovery to come here, long before the Burning Crusade made it into a raid. And the amount of detail that was put into this zone, including raid portals, elven structures, and different segments of the zone, faithful to the Warcraft 3 map, leads me to believe that they actually planned Hyjal to be a piece of content to be released in Classic WoW, but they never had enough time to finish it. Even today, in 2019, visiting this empty version of Hyjal is absolutely amazing. This is arguably the craziest discovery that has ever been found in World of Warcraft. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. This is Volti, signing out.